Our county was once much different than it is today. Areas which are now covered by forest were, in the past, covered by marine reefs at the bottom of the ocean. At other times in the past, ice sheets a quarter to half a mile thick blanketed our region. How is this possible? Planet Earth is constantly changing. As the tectonic plates which compose the crust of the Earth move, collide, and separate, geography dramatically changes. Mountains form, oceans form and are lost, areas which were once the bottom of the ocean become dry land. As the gases in the atmosphere change, the temperature warms and cools. An understanding of geological and climate changes of the past is critical to an understanding of the history of life. This history also offers a great lesson which humanity would be wise to heed as our activities change the composition of the atmosphere and thus the climate of the planet. In the late Precambrian, the Earth experienced a number of great changes. The land masses, which had been united in a supercontinent known as Rodina, had begun to separate. Precambrian glacial deposits have been found on every continent except Antarctica, prompting the model of a snowball Earth in which much of the Earth was frozen. At its coldest, the temperature of the Earth may have dropped to minus 50 degrees Celsius. Such frigid global temperatures would have frozen all land masses and the oceans might have been covered with ice sheets. Life may have been restricted to hot springs and other areas of geothermal activity and to meltwater pools on the surface of the ice. Photosynthesis by cyanobacteria and algae may have been a primary cause of this climate change. In photosynthesis, oxygen is released. This gas had previously not been present in the atmosphere in large quantities and would have converted the powerful greenhouse gas methane into the weaker greenhouse gas carbon dioxide, thus cooling the planet. By the end of the Proterozoic, the climate had stabilized, in part due to the accumulation of carbon dioxide through volcanic activity, oxygen was more abundant in the atmosphere, and complex cells existed which were increasing their variability through sexual reproduction. These factors were all probably crucial in, to the appearance and diversification of the first animals on planet Earth in the late Precambrian.